CA Pay. Back at you with another video. And in today's video, I am going over what happened to my case. Side case, side shad bag, along with my exhaust. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button right now. Please become a part of this CA Pay community, Three Wheel Nation record community, and also Corvette and sports car community. Like, comment, and most importantly, share the videos. Let's get into today's video. So I didn't even notice it at first, right? So I've been um, putting stuff in and out. Somehow the exhaust that I put on, which is a silver turbo exhaust. So you see the exhaust right here? Um, the exhaust burnt a hole in the side bag. So if you look, the exhaust basically go, you know, comes out here and goes right under, you know, goes right under to the bag and it burnt a hole in the bag. <laughs> so as you can see somehow, some way, I don't know if I was spitting fire, going too fast, what happened, but yeah, um, <laughs> this is crazy to me overall. I don't, wow. So just trying to come from different angles of it and wow. I, I, I am so shocked by this. Get in the comment section, let me know if that's happened to you. Man, it just make you want to just stay with the regular schmegler exhaust because you don't know, you know, what's going to happen with, you know, the regular exhaust or whatever. And my bag is so close to here. Um, some people that have exhaust obviously don't have the bag. But if you do have a side bag, go look at your side bag right now. Let me know if the, and you have an exhaust on yours, a custom exhaust or one of these performance exhausts. Go look right now and tell me. Did it burn a hole in your side bag? Go tell me right now. It's crazy, right? Man, man, oh man, oh man. It's always something, man. Always something, but wow. Let's get to our second story of the day. And our second story of today is gonna come to you in a couple of seconds. Three, two, one. Gotcha. So, I want to bring this story to from Kelly Hart Toms. Um, she's trying to sell parts to her Riker if somebody wants them. But what happened basically is she was riding along about to go to a garage to change the tires on the Riker to get ready for another road trip. Somebody took her off the road. Somebody came along and drove her off the road. And man, at least she didn't suffer a lot of injuries or anything. But the Riker itself, there it is. Man, y'all, listen. I just wanted to bring y'all another one of these safety tips out here. The, when these bikes get into a crash, they fold up like cheap folding chairs, man. Be careful out here, man. Hey, be careful of your surroundings. At nighttime, some of you guys don't have a lot of lights on your bike. Some of these people can't really see you. You also got junk drivers out here. You got other issues out here. Man, we got to be safe, y'all. We got to protect each other. Um, I still drive at night sometimes. I just don't drive at night as much as I used to. But I got to stay safe out here. I, you know, I don't... Man, I value my life, man. You just never know. I know you guys saw on the news where... Uh, the one lady or whatever in in like uh, California, she uh, ran into a bunch of people and killed like six people. Then it was another accident, you know, similar to that. Well, I think like 13 people got injured or killed or something like you. It's not about your driving. You have to like literally be driving in a defensive way. It's not about the way you drive. It's the way these other maniacs out here on the road drive. So just wanted to put that out there for you. Um, obviously this is this Friday, Friday video, please, please, please hit that subscribe button, subscribe button, like comment. Appreciate y'all, man. Rough week this week. Um, 
my dad has been married to my stepmom for like 35 years. She went into cardiac arrest on Sunday and uh, she wasn't breathing on her own, hasn't been breathing on her own all week. And then finally today, she they took her off the machine and she started breathing on her own. So I'm so happy about that. So if you heard it in my voice this week, I didn't look too excited. That's what didn't sound too excited. That's what was going on. But the road for, to recovery for her will be a long one. But I'm, you know, I'm blessed and I'm happy that she at least is, you know, breathing on her own. And that's some progress today because it didn't it looked kind of bleak this week. Go hug your loved ones, man. Go hang out with your mom, your dad. Call them right now. Tell them you love them. Never be too busy for them, no matter, you know, how busy you get. Until next time, my friends, C8 Pate out.